In this video, I'll be sharing my tips and tricks for removing leftover candle wax from glass jars. This is part two in my series on reusing candle wax. Previously, I made a video on how to remove candle wax by melting the wax in jars on the stove, then transferring all the hot wax to a new jar with a fresh wick. I got a lot of great feedback in the comments from viewers on different methods that they use to remove wax from jars. I'm currently stuck in the house, so it's the perfect time to try out all of your suggestions. If you have a tried and true method of removing wax that's not described in part one or part two, please let me know in the comments and I'll give it a try as well. Based on your feedback, there seems to be five main ways that you all remove wax from your old candle jars. Let's try them all. Before we begin, just a quick disclaimer to try any of these techniques at your own risk. Always make sure to take care when handling hot wax. Method number one, stove top melting. This is the method that I described in my part one video. You can click through to that video if you haven't seen it yet. An advantage of this method is that it's pretty fast to melt the wax once the water reaches a simmer. The disadvantage is that it's a bit cumbersome to transfer the wax once it's melted, since the wax is contained within the jars. Let's move on to your suggestions now. Method number two, hot water removal. So here we go. I heated up my water kettle to 100 degrees. Once heated, I poured the hot water directly into the jar. The wax from the bottom of the jar will slowly rise up to the top of the water. The wax will bubble up from the bottom and it looks so cool. For my first attempt, I only waited about an hour and a half, and you can see that although the wax appeared to be hard, it was actually still a bit soft. This made it so that the wax didn't actually pop out easily, it just kind of crumbled apart. I ended up pouring out the water from the hole that I made in the wax and removed the soft wax in chunks. If the wax layer at the bottom is too thick, you might have to repeat the process a second time like I did. You can see in this side view that about half of the wax rose to the top, but I still had a significant layer at the bottom that didn't rise before the water cooled down. Since I still had a significant amount of wax at the bottom of my jar, I poured more boiling water into the jar and this time I waited much longer, about five hours. This time, the wax hardened perfectly and it came out as one big piece. This was definitely a success. I used a sturdy spoon to remove the wick bases from the bottom. So pros of this method, it's very fast to prepare the candles for removal, so the active time that you need to spend on this method is low. Additionally, most of the wax is removed in one well swoop, so all you need to do is clean out the residual wax with soap and water to be able to reuse the jar. But for cons, you have to wait for the wax to solidify before you can remove from the jar, which does take a long time. Method number three, frozen wax removal. I've already gone ahead and frozen this candle. It's been in my freezer for a few days, but it shouldn't actually need that long to freeze. I used my butter knife to cut the wax in half, and it really was easy just to pop out the wax in chunks. Yep, that was very easy. The pros and cons of this method are very similar to the hot water method. Prepping the candle is fast since it's literally just placing the candle in the freezer. When putting it in the freezer, make sure that the candle is at room temperature to reduce the risk of your glass cracking due to extreme temperature shifts. The con is waiting for the candle wax to freeze, but you can always freeze it in advance so that you're not actively sitting around waiting for it. Method number four, double boiler. For this method, I made a DIY double boiler using a saucepan and a metal bowl. I brought water to a boil, making sure that the water wouldn't directly touch the bottom of the bowl. Once it was at boiling, I reduced the heat to medium-low. I put the bowl on top and placed the used candle jar on top of that. And then I waited. And waited. It took a long time for the wax to melt for this candle. About 40 minutes for one candle. Since the jar wasn't exceptionally hot, I was able to just use oven mitts to transfer the wax from the jar to a small, heat-safe bowl lined with parchment paper. Once the wax hardened, it was simple to release the wax from the parchment paper to add to my collection of wax pieces. The cons of this method outweighed the pros for me. It felt so much slower to melt the wax on the double boiler compared to submerging it in method one. Method number five, oven bake. 
This method is great when you're removing wax from many candle jars at once. I didn't want to risk cracking my jars in the heat, so I preheated the oven to a low temperature of 200 degrees Fahrenheit. I wasn't sure if it was a good idea to put the labels in the oven or not, so to be safe, I washed the labels off first. If you soak the jars, most labels will peel right off and you can carefully scrub off any leftover bits. I line a baking tray with tin foil, then a layer of parchment paper. Make sure that your baking tray has a lip on it so that the wax doesn't slip out. I place my candles upside down on the tray to allow the wax to drip down onto the parchment. I'm mostly using candles that I've already removed wax from, so this is mostly to remove residual wax left in these jars. I put the tray into the oven for about 15 minutes. Once done, I transferred the jars from the tray to parchment paper lined plates. I pulled out any wicks using tweezers. After leaving the wax to solidify on the parchment, you can remove the wax in chunks. You'll notice that I didn't worry about removing any debris, because in my future video, I want to test out straining out any debris. So, pros and cons. If you have a lot of candles to do at once, this is very effective. I still had wax in the jars after 15 minutes, but your mileage may vary if you extend the time. Bonus method number six, just a butter knife. So for this test, I have a used candle that is fully hardened. I haven't frozen it, I haven't warmed it in any way. As a comparison to the five previous methods, I want to try to use just a butter knife to break the wax in half. So here we go. Honestly, it's not actually that different from the freezer method. With the freezer, it was a bit easier to remove, probably because the wax contracts a little, releasing it from the walls of the jar. But just using the knife actually wasn't that difficult, leaving a similar amount of residue that would need to be washed off. So after trying all these methods, which one is my favorite? My absolute favorite method is now, Drum roll, please. The freezer method! I found that the wax removal was the cleanest and the prep time the fastest. Freeze it, pop it, collect it, clean the jar. Done. It was so easy. What method is your favorite? Using any of these methods will leave you with some wax residue that you'll need to wash off before you can reuse the jars for decor or storage. Using dish soap and warm water is effective for removing both the labels and any remaining wax. Try not to let wax go down your drain. Whether you submerge your jars in boiling water, pour in hot water, freeze the wax, use a double boiler, or use the oven, you'll be left with hardened wax pieces that you can then melt again to reuse. You can keep the pieces sorted by scent or combined together similar scents to make a unique combination. In my next candle video, I'll feature different ways that you can use these bits of wax. Be sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss it. Thanks for watching, see you next time, this is Craftcore signing off.